As the Syrian conflict drags on, thousands of foreign fighters are joining jihadist rebels against President Assad. The lion's share still come from Jordan, Saudi Arabia and Tunisia, but the numbers of hot-headed youngsters from Europe ready to take up arms there are surging. Let's now take a look at figures. According to the International Center for the Study of Radicalization, there could now be nearly 11,000 individuals from over 70 nations on the ground in Syria, and almost 2,000 of those are from Western Europe. That's a staggering 18% of the entire foreign rebel population in the country. The main contributors of jihadist recruits from the continent are France and Britain. Together, they account for more than 700 people. The next states and supply line for radical brigades are Belgium, Germany, Germany and the Netherlands. But it's not just about the numbers being up. They're also getting increasingly younger, sometimes only 15 or 16 years old. Just recently, two teenage girls of Bosnian origin vanished from their homes in Austria to join the war, as Peter Oliver reports. Well, what we're seeing right now is in the latest um, spate of uh, people from Europe coming uh, to fight in the war in Syria. It seems that two girls uh, aged 16 and 15 have gone there uh, to take part in, um, in jihad. Their families only found out about this after uh, they saw posts that were placed on social media. Now, all of this is developing at the moment. It is worth noticing that um, there are is some scepticism about the legitimacy of some of the photographs that have been put out. Um, it seems that some of these photographs that uh, show the girls surrounded by uh, armed men brandishing um, AK-47s may have been uh, photographs that we've seen in the past. All of this comes as just the latest in a, a line of, um, of incidences which we've seen in which people from Western Europe have gone uh, to Syria. We saw just recently an 18-year-old man from, um, from southern Britain was killed uh, fighting in Syria. We have seen other instances of people from here in Germany, where I am, that have, uh, have been killed fighting in the conflict. And earlier we spoke to one Belgian father whose son was groomed into joining the Islamist rebels in Syria. Dimitri Bontnik went to the war-torn country to find his child and bring him back. He says European governments are well aware of the problem of youngsters being drawn to Syria to fight, but are turning the other cheek. Some youngsters, they are influenced uh, and selected uh, by uh, Muslim friends. Some youngsters, they are influenced uh, by the internet. What is concerning is that uh, all these websites, and uh, there are more than a thousand uh, radical websites uh, active on the internet worldwide. The governments uh, know that the children are in Syria. They know the locations. They know uh, in which groups the children are. They know uh, who are the leaders from these uh, groups. The governments, they know everything. But the government don't want to take a risk to send uh, people there because they are afraid and they don't want to take responsibility. The real people, the real youngsters who are really radicalized, you will never see them back. They will never come back to Europe. Never. And now to some news that could shape the future of Syria. The country's lawmakers have announced the presidential election will be held on June the 3rd. The announcement came shortly after a double mortar attack just outside the parliament building in the center of Damascus. The two shells killed five people, according to state media. The presidential poll will decide who is to rule the country for the next seven years. President Assad is widely expected to win despite the four-year uprising against his rule, which spiraled into civil war.